Hey there cats, good time of the day to you and thank you for tuning into my channel. Today me and three friends of mine play a game named Metamorphic Force. And boy do I love Metamorphic Force. When it comes to beat em ups, this one in my opinion is one of the best games out there. This was one of the last Konami's arcade beat em ups alongside the Wild and Storm and I think these two games are really doing it right. The pace is just correct, pretty fast, but at the same time just slow enough for you to grasp everything that's going on on the screen. The backgrounds, the enemies and the overall design. Like Wildland Star, Metamorphic Force is pretty bright and that's another plus in my opinion because I'm one of those guys who likes purple and gold combination however tasteless it may be. And while Wildland Storm is 100% goofy from aesthetics to the music, Metamorphic Force is a bit more serious. The plot, while still pretty generic, is not that generic, I suppose, and the music is more epic and overall this game feels a little bit darker, heavier, something like that. Gameplay-wise, well, it's your typical beat-em-up after all, complete with an ability to kick your enemies into the groin area. Plus, the whole stage 5 is made of one boss fight with an enemy who I suppose is a succubus drawn in a good old 90s way. And let me point out that this game unfortunately does not have a playable female character, which is a shame. But on the other hand, we have a guy named Ivan. Try and guess which animal he transforms into. It is also the only beat'em up I've seen which actually has two sprites for finishing downed enemies. Nice little detail which I really liked. Overall, I think Metamorphic Force is what Altered Beast aspired to be. But while Altered Beast is kinda boring and slow, Metamorphic Force is action-packed and you're in it until the very last moment. Not sure if we will ever see any more games like this since one particular internet culture kinda made every anthropomorphic animal in the world look bad. But back in the 90s you could safely play Metamorphic Force and Altered Beast without fear of your friends instantly labeling you a pervert. And before we start, let me mention one more thing, regional versions. There were three, US, Japanese and World. I'm playing World, which is as far as I know, has only one difference from the Japanese version. Specifically the difference is in the mosaic that is on the background of the elevator part of stage 6. In the Japanese version it depicts some generic church stuff, angels and things, while in the world version it depicts some demons and dragons and I think it works better than the church stuff because the final boss is himself is kind of a demon dragon something. And US version, as I've heard, is just a shameless money eater. I've never played it, but people say that you just constantly die without having any fun. Plus, the stage 5 is remade into a boss rush, while in Japanese and world versions you can concentrate on important things. Rock on! So yeah, here we are. Playing Metamorphic Force, what can I say? <sighs> I really love this game, I've already mentioned it, I, I believe. At least I, I think I will mention it when I'll do the introduction. Oh, and yeah, since uh, three of my friends do not speak English, once again I'm recording commentary separately from the video. But, well, whatever. Here comes the plot. What can I say about the plot? Yeah, it's, it's kinda, you know, your usual plot, save the world and do your stuff. It's... It was everywhere in the 90s in pretty much every <laughs> every arcade game. But uh, in my personal generic plot meter, it's a little bit less generic than the Wild and Storm plot, which says uh, save your girlfriend. Now, that's probably, I don't know, they're probably just a little bit different. Like, this is generic epic plot and that, let's call it generic urban plot. Yeah, right, but... You know, save the world. I mean, it kind of. What else can you do in an epic game, right? So it's kind of mediocre plot. All right. So I'm playing as Claude, and uh, that's the guy with the blade. Player two. And well, my friends are all the other guys, namely Ivan, Bon, and um, Max. Yeah, right. His name is Max. I remembered it. I'm telling you, I like this game. I even remember the names of all the characters. That's pretty crazy because nine times out of ten, I don't remember think about beat em ups. I just uh, like blaze through them, and that's about it. It's like your usual action movie for the evening. You do not really remember it. 
Well, maybe some people do, but I operate in the way I've mentioned. Just look at those transformation animations. They look like gorgeous, I mean... Yeah, probably you can see better transformations in the movie, like uh, that... Uh, how, how was the, the name of that movie that the guy transformed into werewolf like slowly and painfully? I don't remember. I don't... After Dark... No, 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 no. It, 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 it got a remake recently. It was an awesome movie, no? The main character there was singing Bebop a lullaby and closing the, the door of his Mustang. For whatever reason I want to name that movie After Dark, but I'm pretty sure the name of that movie is not After Dark. Maybe Before Dark? Mm, no, I'm not sure, I don't remember. Either way, in terms of games, well, there are not much games with werewolves and most of them do not include the transformation, for whatever reason. And this game has awesome sprites, these transformations look amazing, you know, I really love them. Yeah, meanwhile we got to the first boss. The bosses here are really good, you know, in terms that they are you know, they are kinda... Your usual enemies, I mean, they do not have any special buffs, you can still grab them, you can still do... Uh, s you know, um... Those super attacks or something like that, you can, you can pretty much just kick them like every other enemy, but... Um, at the same time, they got that skill and the health line to be the boss, you know, what What I want to say is that they are not that different from your usual enemy, yet they still got that something that qualifies them in the boss. That means... That's really cool, you know, they... I love this way of doing characters, of doing boss characters. They... Uh, they are kinda... You know, do not feel like they are overpowered without a reason, that they cannot be grabbed without the reason, that they dodge your abilities without any reason. No, they take it all, but at the same time they're able to endure it. Yeah, that's kinda... That's kinda the way the bosses should work. The only boss that feels like a bullet sponge in this game, well, more like, more like punch sponge in this uh, particular example, is uh, the very final boss, the boss of level 6, but I guess, well, he's the boss of level 6, so yeah, I guess he can do it. He, he can get away with that. After all, he's the final boss. Man, I've just stick my sword straight into that guy ha guy's head. That that was like brutal. <laughs> what else can I point onto? I'm not even sure. Well, probably the biggest downside of this game is that your health meter is dropping down no matter how good you are. So yeah. You leave only that much, and as you can see, even if we do not take any damage, our numbers at the top of the screen are going down, and yeah, once they are out, that's kind of, you know, your timer. That's more like your timer rather than your health, it feels like you're playing one of those on ar arcade racing games. Uh, but that's pretty much the only downside I can find. Everything else about this game, I love it. Look at those grab animations, I mean, look at all those animations, but probably the grappling animations are the best, the, the ones I like the most. Unfortunately, you do not have any grapple animations once you're a human, but as a beast, you have amazing ones. I mean, Claude, just let's take a look at, at Claude right now. I, I'm pretty sure I will do a grapple soon enough, because I love that stuff. Alright, come here. Yeah, look at that. Have you seen that nice one? He just... He just punched him like really hard. You can feel it, man. That's, that's look like... Awesome. Max, who's a panther like now, also has very cool animations. He kicks uh, enemies with a knee. On several boss enemies... It actually... He kinda kicks uh, all enemies with the knee at approximately one place, but since the bosses are larger than your usual enemies, on boss characters Max kicks, kicks him with the knee straight into the balls, but I guess that's okay, that's a bit of mob thing. And, you know, this kind of feels... 
adds a bit more of realism. I mean, why shouldn't you shoot the enemy in the kick, shoot or whatever? The enemy in the most obvious weak point, right? I guess in a real firefight or, you know, street fight, everyone would do it. So I love the games that allow you to do it and actually has a, you know, special reaction from the enemy when, you know, when it happens. I mean, Metamorphic Force doesn't have any special reaction for that, but, you know, it still looks very, very authentic, so to say. Yeah. Out of the games that lets you shoot in the balls, by the way, if you're interested, I can remember Saints Row 2 and Bulletstorm. Both games have pretty nasty reactions from the NPCs when you shoot their balls off. So what else can I point out to? Let's take a look at the Ban and Ivan. I guess we should take a look at their grapple animations. I do not actually remember them right now. For whatever reason, I don't play much as those characters. Uh, so I don't remember their grapple animations, especially for the Ivan. I do love that simple drop he does though. He simply, he simply like jumps and drops his ass down on his enemies. That looks like your basic drop, but it, it really works. Just when you're a heavy guy, you really can just sit down on your enemy with all your weight and that would be more than enough. I've heard a story, not sure if it's uh, true, but uh, Nelson Fraser Jr. Rest in peace, dude, that wrestler I, who was uh, performing in WWE under the names uh, Big Daddy V and Visera and uh, I believe uh, Maple or Mabel was one of his first names. So yeah, ben, when he was Mabel in the 90s, wore this, he actually won uh, the champion belt uh, by accidentally... Uh, well... I can't really blame it on him, so I've put it wrong. I, I've, I've put it wrong. He actually won a champion belt when his rival accidentally knocked him out. And he simply dropped on him, you know, like... Uh, no, 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 um, how does it... Kai, Kai Feb? No, no. Well, well, he really was knock, knocked out, that's how the story goes. And he dropped onto his rival. And he was just so big, nobody could move him out. I mean, yeah, he just won the belt, but when a guy is so big drops on you that you can't move away, move him away, can't like move away from him, from under him, that pretty much means you lost the fight because once the guy will come to his senses, you you're definitely in trouble. You know, if you are in a fight, it's unlikely that he will just you know let let you you know, get up and stuff. Well, I hope you get what I mean. I, my English is still very bad. I can't really, like, I can't really speak my mind clearly, you know. Well, either way, where were we? So yeah, I want and Bon. Still can't say any grapples from them, but and I won't see them anytime soon, I believe, because so far they're human. Well, maybe now one of them will become an animal. Yeah, here comes Ivan. All right, come on. Oh, that's one. Yeah, that's the one. Actually, Ivan has several of those grapples and Max has several of those grapples. One of them is uh, kicking his enemy with a knee and another one of his grapples is to actually jump onto his enemy and bite him. Boss looks pretty amazing. Ivan unfortunately went out. Ivan has several of those throws. Once again, both looks amazing. Uh, I'm not sure which grapples Bon has, like, totally not sure. I believe he has a head, but I may be wrong. I guess we'll only see that in the next stage. This golem is kind of sturdy, you know? I don't remember being him that sturdy. For whatever reason, that kind of escaped me, but we really just can't drop him down. I mean, how much time we already punching and kicking him? Oh, that's that's another one from Ivan. Oh, finally he's dead. Okay. Mm 
Yeah, that's a nice one. You know, for whatever reason, most of the enemies in this game, they explode once you defeat them. <laughs> I don't know the reason behind it, but it sure looks good. Yeah, some additional graphics for the screen. There were several games where the developers act actually did stuff just to show their, their latest, you know, progress in graphical power, like like the most probably probably the most known example is um, Street Fighter 3 where Capcom designed Jill to be fully asymmetrical just to show what their new graphical chip can do and that's how Jill ended up being red and blue half red half blue tall guy yeah Nowadays probably doesn't sound that impressive, but back in the days it was a real deal. Alright, so maybe we will see a grapple from a barn somewhere around this place. Maybe we won't though. I hope we do. Oh yeah, that's one. Yeah, he has some... He has headbutt, uh, but not like head-to-head -head headbutt, which is probably... Would be alright since he's a bull. It's probably not your very good idea when you're a human, but I guess it's alright for a bull. Uh, yet Ivan, oh sorry, Ban actually drops to his knee and headbutts his enemies in the in the more soft in the softer belly area. Maybe he actually hits them with the shoulder. I'm not sure. Uh, for for whatever reason, I I should see that animation once. No, no, that's definitely a headbutt. I've just saw that animation. Right, that's definitely a headbutt. No, oh, Max actually has a throw as well. Well, everyone has a throw. Everyone has a throw. Yeah, uh, along with their grapples, you know, they every character also has a throw. If you press back and attack while you are grappling an enemy, you will actually throw him, throw them behind. Yeah. By the way. Ivan's default hit uh, when he performs a grapple is a headbutt to the stomach as well, just like Bounce. Animation is a pretty different though, he doesn't drop to the knee and he like holds an enemy in the air on something when he headbutts him to the belly, so yeah. Okay, we are actually closing into the boss of the stage 4. That's not much left of, of the stage 4. And man, it really looks amazing, you know? It looks so bright and so so awesome. I just love this game. Can't stop loving it, you know? Damn it. Here it comes. Yeah. Yeah, you should have left it to ban Max. But well, alright. Here comes another frog. And that's oh yeah, one more. One more lake so to say I'm not, I'm not sure one more one more place where where the enemies jump out of the water yeah that's how I should put it all right oh, fucking frogs actually they're really they're really bad enemies but these frogs and the four-handed uh, gene stealers looking kind of guys on the last stage the uh, they're the most you know annoying enemy in this game oh an Australian lizard actually hit me with a boomerang. <laughs> Damn it. Another one. These boomerangs have caught some. Should have been more careful. And I'm becoming human as well. Only that much left. Well. Okay, okay. At least all the other guys have become beast again, beasts again. And here comes the boss. All right, here we go. He won't last long, I believe. He ain't got what it takes. And there are just too much of us. I mean, that's four versus one. Well, versus two, perhaps, but still. He only got two hands and two legs, so I guess it's four to one after all. Especially since we are in a fighting game, so I guess the <laughs> hands and legs are the thing that counts. You won't get much. Yeah. Max is almost out once again. Th this game, you know, you really just respawn so fast in it that it's almost unnoticeable when you're when you're dead. Like, bam, and he's in the action again. 
And that's cool. You, it doesn't break the pace. The, when you're down, when you're dead for a moment, it doesn't break the pace. And it's good. These are the way the beat-em-ups should be. Alright, alright. He's, he's almost dead, I'm pretty sure. Mark my word. He doesn't have much left in him. Oh, man. Damn it. Fucker. <laughs> you two-headed bitch. Don't get up anymore. Damn it. All right. All right. All right. Now only Ben is in his human form. Come on, guys. Swarm him. All right. And that's it. Yeah, told you he doesn't have much left. He turns in sto stone, and then he explodes for whatever reason. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not sure why he turns into... I don't know. For whatever reason, the fact that he turns into stone doesn't bother me much, but the fact that he explodes looks a little bit out of place. But okay, okay. A little graphical glitch, but yeah, I've seen mommy emulated games that do it worse. And here comes the stage at which I'm actually very bad at. Probably because I try to, you know, to be at the back of the screen while all the other guys actually try to be in the front. Probably in the front is the place where you should be, but I just want to see everything that goes on and therefore I stick to the back and therefore here I am, I've only killed three enemies. Yeah, that's my typical result for this stage. Now comes stage 5. <laughs> Honestly, this is my favorite stage. But I should probably mention it that one of the animation of this boss that will appear now, yeah, here she is. So yeah, to see I took a careful look time. at one of her animations and, you know, it's hard to describe, but I think that probably, even for beat-em-ups of the 90s, one of her animations is a little bit too much, you know? Uh, I'm not sure, uh, you know, I will just uh, drop it into my introduction for you to understand. Yeah, once I'll do the introduction sequence, I'll add that animation for you to see. And I guess you'll agree with me, it's probably just a little bit of an overkill, <laughs> even for the 90s. Uh, uh, but overall, you know, this stage is kinda, kinda, kinda cool in its own way. I mean, in the 90s, it was... it was okay. Things like these, they, they were like... They were everywhere. But... For whatever reason... The whole stage is just a boss fight with this pink girl and it feels... Feels amazing. I, I don't know. In Metamorphic Force they've really done it all correctly. The whole stage is just... You know, you versus her. Nothing else. It's like what probably... <laughs> A lot of beat'em ups should have had. You don't really need other guys when you're fighting an enemy like this one. Oh, and she goes down. I've... I've like did that cool last punch. And it felt just right. By the way, it is one of the several bosses that doesn't explode. She just, you know, flickers out of existence, so to say. But it's, once again, it's remarkable, it's one of the, if not the only boss that doesn't die violently on the screen. All the guys are actually exploding and definitely dying, while this girl, sh maybe she's still alive, you know? So yeah, talk about equal rights. Guys are bound to the explosive deaths, while the girl, the girl is probably okay. Just got her ass kicked a little bit. All right. Oh boy. Yeah, I always forget about this mistake, about this trap. And so yeah, they've got all four of us this time. But I guess it's okay. I guess it's it's okay. Yeah, since, you know, we are not dropping our credits into the arcade machine anymore, so that's not fatal. They've got us, but 
it's it's all right. Could be worse. <laughs> Out you go, pigs. You know, I like their pickle halbes. I hope this is the correct pronunciation. But that's a nice little touch. It really fits an enemy like this one. Even though I'm not sure why exactly they picked the World War I German helmets, it looks just alright. Alright, beast again. And Ban is beast as well, only Max is left in his human form. Oh, and Ivan now human once again, alright. And here is a sub-boss of level 6, coming up. Yeah, level 6 actually has two bosses. This awesome Skeletor and the actual final boss. All right. Oh damn it! I should I should probably remember their line. I mean, come on. These three guys they maybe play the game the very first time, but I'm like I'm playing this for I don't know for the tenth time already. I should remember something. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Come on, Cloud. Don't let them hit him with their sword. I'm doing it okay, right? I'm doing it just correct. Yeah, 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 here comes. Oh, oh, I grabbed him in the wrong way. Let him go. Or maybe he actually... He, I don't know. I'm not sure, but probably the enemies can actually escape your grapple. I've never noticed if, they, if they're able to do so or not. I've never really paid any attention to it. Come on, guys, he doesn't have much left. Come on, just grab it. Ban, come on. Alright, somebody got him. I believe he just got, uh, you know... And he explodes as well. Every uh, transformation into a beast actually does some damage on the area, so I guess that boss kind of went out when Ban transformed into his beast form. It was his final kick. So here comes those four-handed uh, gene stealers once again. I'm not sure who they are. They just really look somewhat like a gene stealers from Warhammer 40k. So I call them gene stealers. Whatever. One of the most annoying boss who can grapple you. And once again, I'm pretty sure there's no escape from their grappling. All right, just a little bit more of them. Oh boy, they're annoying. Come on. Yeah, out you go. Oh man. There goes another throw from Ivan, I mean... Oh man, they grabbed Ivan. Alright, I've actually grappled that dude and yeah. He went out pretty quickly. Alright, they're just lizards there. You know, they're basic, nothing hard. Come on, carefully, carefully. Oh man, alright, alright. Le leave one to ban. And I'm close to my death, alright. Check this! Cool pigs with their pink hammers, they're <laughs> like stylish, man, their pink hammers are amazing. Not sure why they would have pink hammers, but on the other hand, why not? <laughs> they're amazing, man, they're truly amazing, like purple breastplates, pink helmets, pink hammers, why not? I believe on the floor one there were pigs well with pink... Um... Oh! I'm actually not sure how to call that weapon on English. Well, you know that heavy ball and chain, something like that. And they were always also pink. No, 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 Bun, you can't take them into grapple while you're human. You definitely cannot. All right. This energy and another one of those gene stealers. Don't let him get up. All right. Good enough. Oh, some more lizards. That's not hard. Okay. Oh, oh. 
Uh, by the way, yeah, you've probably noticed several times that Ivan just stood still, and here's one of those uh, moments. Yeah, thing is, uh, our fourth gamepad kinda disconnected from time to time, and we had to reconnect it constantly, unfortunately. I'm, I'm pretty sure I will fix this for the next uh, gameplay, for player gameplay. I think I just gotta get a new wire for it. Sorry, it happens. And well, the final boss, you fight him in space for whatever reason, but it only makes things all the more amazing. I mean, everything is cooler once it is in space, <laughs> ain't it? I mean, yeah, it is. You can't argue that. Oops. He actually has an amazing grapple as well, which is kind of hard to escape. I mean, you gotta notice when he goes for it and move out of the way, but yeah, Ban is getting ca caught one time after another, and he's human again. And I am human again, man, that's not cool. Now this final boss is kinda hard, you know? I can imagine people spending several dollars on him back in the day, because this motherfucker can do some damage, and at the same time, he is pretty much, you know, he can hold the heat, so so to say. He he is pretty much indestructible. He is a real deal bullet sponge, uh, well, punch sponge. Not cool, man. All right, come on, Ivan, just a little bit lower to catch him on your line. All right, damn it. We are getting our asses kicked, you know. He's still not even in his second form. Yeah, sorry for the spoiler. He has second form. And we still ain't there. Damn it, come on, guys. Come on, people. Oh, he, he's flickering. Okay, okay. I'm pretty sure he's out. Just... Several more. Yeah, that's it. All right. Now you'll see my real strength. Okay, second form incoming. I mean, look at that transformation animation as well. It looks cool. It just looks amazing the way those wings grow under his skin. It's it's fucking badass, man. All right, now you still can grapple him, but if you grab him, you will actually have to. If you decide to throw him, you'll actually have to do a little, you know, quick time sequence where you gotta mash your attack button. Otherwise, you won't be able to throw him. But that quick time sequence, if it can be, if it even can be called this way, well, that sequence is kind of. You know, intuitive, and uh, you do it on automatic. I'm not sure I've ever failed. I ever saw some player who failed it, and here's that sequence I've told ya. I just threw that boss over my shoulder. And yeah, once again, I've never saw a player who who failed that sequence. It's really intuitive. Once again, very, very nice boss design. Very good one. And here goes Max, actually kicking him with the knee in his groin. As I've told you, this boss is just too large, so... Yeah, so it looks like Max kicks his balls, which he doesn't have. Yeah, since he is a reptile, well, whatever. Alright, just a little bit more left. He's already flickering, guys. Alright, just... 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 Kick him down from the air and don't let him get him up. That's all you got to do, you know? That's it. All right. Nice one, Ivan. Come on, people. Just a little bit more left. Who's out? Ivan's out. And he's back. All right. All these animations, they, you know, it's really amazing. The game is fast-paced, yet you still can 
get just that grasp of every animation and that's just enough to feel it, man. Oh, and final throw from Max. Out he goes. Good one. Yeah. Now, I remember for the first time I played, I actually thought this is, you know, a cinematic sequence, but then this spirit thing actually attacked me and I was like, oh, this is not the end, this is his third form, crazy. I really didn't understood this on my first playthrough, but yeah, now I know, this is his third form, his spirit actually attacks you and you gotta destroy it as well. But he is really weak, it is like his desperation move. And that's it for Metamorphic Force. Now there will be a credits and some more plot along the way. A sequel, you know, a hook to the sequel which will never come, I suppose. I mean, the chances nowadays for the sequel of Metamorphic Force are really low. And that's about it. Enjoy the credits. Thanks for being with me, cats. And good luck.